Every year, at the weekend before Memorial Weekend, every car guy in the Wisconsin area will come to the Wisconsin Dells and completely take over the streets. But not take over in the bad term. Ever since those idiots in California have been doing donuts in the streets, the word takeover has gotten a bad rep. But don't get me wrong, it's still kind of similar. Here's the deal. Automation is kind of a nice middle ground between a vanilla car meet with a bunch of old guys and classics and the word takeover in the bad definition. Wait, 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 wait. I'd like to confirm and point out that I've yet to see anyone get hurt at automation before, nor have I ever seen any serious accident or really any accident at all. Actually, that's a lie. There was this one time where a truck got rear-ended. Dude, there was there was blood everywhere. Also, I did once get in trouble for lighting a firework at a gas station. Not legal trouble or anything, but the gas station clerk yelled at me, so... <laughs> Sorry. You actually get to see all the cool cars running and driving. The entire main downtown strip gets gridlocked. Bro, the line from the interstate or maybe not the estate, the highway is freaking long, bro. Full of a mix of trucks, enthusiast cars, and unfortunate people that have no clue what is going on and are just trying to get to work or something. Listen, bud, you just gotta go. Listen, bud, you just gotta go straight. But you're welcome. I let you in anyways. You will be moving at a slower than walking speed. Everybody here is running some sort of exhaust modification, obviously, and there will be a lot of noise. Excessive revving is totally expected and often encouraged. You will get people on the sidewalk pressuring you to do burnouts, and some people do. But don't say I didn't tell you that the cops are There's indeed one, two, everywhere. Three, four. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six cop cars here. Did you know that they have a Toyota Camry undercover police car? Because I didn't, so keep an eye out for that. And don't do anything too stupid wherever you draw that line. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Being at automation is an experience yeah. that is hard to convey over video. It's like trying to record a concert. It's yeah. a being one with the crowd sort of feeling that is especially amplified if you drive something cool like me. Mixed with the atmosphere of the area, the sounds you can feel in your chest, and the gas you can smell the air, it's pretty awesome there. If there's a car that you've always wanted to see in person, you'll probably see it here. Mark 5 Supra? Yup. Mark 4 Supra? You got that. Mark 3 Supra? Actually, you'll probably see all the Supras here. R35 GTR? Yup. Probably not an R34. But you'll see Skyline R33s? R32s? Just Nissan Skyline GTs? Really loud Volkswagens? And some of the big Italians if you look hard enough. I even got to follow behind an AutoZam AZ1, which is by far the coolest and rarest sight of this year. Anyways, when we first got here at the Wisconsin Dells, it was already 6.30, so most of the day was already gone. We ate at the McDonald's at the Wisconsin Dells Parkway, then proceeded to take an hour and a half to travel the distance of 4 miles. You could alternatively take the highway and get there in a reasonable time, but who wants to do that? In the parking lot of the Walmart, we saw some cool cars like this Minion Lancer, this old 1940s custom truck, a really, really, really low Mustang, and this stuff that, here, strangely, I don't remember being at the meet that this whole video is supposed to be about. Oh yeah, I, I said hi to him. 
Then we were hungry again, so we spent an yeah, hour driving back that same four mile road. And now we're straight back, because I wanted a snack, but I wasn't hungry. But now I'm hungry. We are at McDonald's again. Didn't we pass like other McDonald's on the way here? I kind of like this one. I wanted to do some more driving down the strip though, so. It's 9-11 right now, and then... 9-11. Okay, okay, it's 9-12 p.m. right now, and the next time you see us, it's gonna be probably like 11. <laughs> <laughs> It's 8.05 a.m. Corbin couldn't sleep, so we're up an hour earlier than the meet starts. Oh, hey, the meet's happening today. Or two, but it looks pretty nice. UMG 2023 had a pretty great turnout this year. Chris Gendron, our event organizer, stated that we were only about a couple of cars short from beating the record attendance. If you haven't seen William at all in this video, it's because he didn't come this year. I have an idea. He's working on that. The schedule for UMG is generally the same every year. If you book a hotel, unlike us, then you get to hang out on Friday or something. But we were busy cruising, doing something else. On Saturday, there is the car show. They hand out trophies for best first gens and best second gens, and then the best overall. And now we're at the best part of the entire meet, the cruise. Cruise, probably being the lightest and legalest way to put it. We all group up in one big line and hang out around some beautiful country roads for three hours. Let me tell you, some of these guys, me included, are not afraid to really push it around these bendy roads. So if you plan on taking it easy in any way, you should probably stay in the back of the pack. This guy is Brandon Bonilla. He's a pretty well-known dude for 2000 GT parts, so if you need any, you should contact him on Facebook. If you've ever wondered what a true straight-piped, naturally aspirated 3000 GT would sound like, this is it. No pre-cats, no resonators, no nothing. Just pure bliss. At the end of the cruise, we go eat pizza, and then that's it. That's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> oh, you can see his wing activating.